298 people were on board Flight 17. They were from at least nine countries, and as we mentioned, three of them were infants, and there were 15 crew members. However, the nationalities of 20 passengers are still not confirmed this morning, leaving the possibility that some might be American. This morning, grief-stricken families gathering at airports in Amsterdam and Kuala Lumpur awaiting confirmation about the victims of flight MH17. We've learned right before takeoff, one of the pilots sent his wife a text message saying he would be home shortly to see her and his two children. <laughs> Among the victims we know of this morning, the Gunawan family relatives of an ABC News employee who were headed to the Philippines on vacation. Hariono Gunawan was an employee of Malaysia Airlines. His wife, Irene, and two children, Daryl and Cheryl, were with him. And Carline Kaiser, a Dutch student studying in the U.S., she was going on vacation with her boyfriend. I'm just in disbelief and expecting, you know, Carline to pop up on Facebook and tell everybody she's okay. Also on the flight, as many as 108 AIDS activists, researchers, and health workers heading to a major conference in Melbourne, Australia. This incredibly sad and sensitive time the IAS sends condolences to the loved ones. One Dutch passenger posted this chilling picture right before takeoff. It appears to be the doomed plane with the caption, should it disappear, this is what it looks like. He and his girlfriend now among the dead. Sarah Moonen says her brother and a friend were bumped from the flight last minute. Two of their friends were not. I felt bad for feeling good that my family hadn't been ruined and that my brother was alive. So difficult. And one Australian family has been affected by both Malaysia Air tragedies. Irene and George Burrow lost their son Rodney and his wife on Flight 370, which disappeared in March. And now their step-granddaughter and her husband were killed on Flight MH17.